the iPhone 15 might look similar to the iPhone 14, but does have some design improvements. The curved edges and the balanced weight distribution make it very comfortable to hold and use, even with one hand. This is particularly due to the softening of the corners. The base model iPhone 15 no longer has the notch at the top, but instead features the dynamic island. This is something that was previously featured in the Pro iPhones only. The button placement is the same as the iPhone 14, with the volume and mute buttons on the left and the power button on the right. The base iPhone 15 features a 6.1 inch all screen OLED display with a 2556 by 1179 pixel resolution at 460 ppi. It also has a fingerprint resistant oleophobic coating, which actually works pretty well as I have not been bothered by fingerprint marks on this iPhone as much as in the past. In typical Apple fashion, the base model iPhone 15 features a 60Hz display, as opposed to a higher frame rate such as 90 or the 120Hz that is featured in the Pro line. Like with other Apple products, this is mostly a way of getting customers to purchase the next product in the latter. The iPhone 15 also boasts ceramic shield technology, which is known for its durability and scratch resistance. This not only enhances the overall robustness of the device, but also ensures it can withstand everyday wear and tear. If you need further protection, however, I've been using the Moft Snap Case Movas. This case is not only beautifully designed, but also very functional. The soft and durable Movas Vegan Leather is ultra thin and anti scratch, ensuring a comfortable experience while protecting your iPhone. Its MagSafe compatibility seamlessly integrates with a range of MagSafe accessories. If you're feeling creative, you can use that MagSafe compatibility to attach the Moft Snap Phone tripod stand. Slim and lightweight, it folds effortlessly, slipping into your pocket or bag with ease, making it very portable. Despite its discreet profile, it transforms into a sturdy tripod in seconds and provides precise angle adjustment, taking your videos or photos to the next level. With flexible angles, you can use it in floating mode, vlogging mode, or stand mode. And whether you have the latest iPhone or an older model, its universal compatibility has you covered. The battery and performance on this iPhone have been very good so far. I get around a full day of pretty constant use while also using data and consuming media such as music and videos. Something many of you have probably been looking forward to for a while now is the USB-C port and now it has it. Now you can go ahead and conveniently use the same charger from other devices. This also makes it easier when connecting your iPhone with external devices such as a monitor or a gaming controller. The camera also features some nice upgrades. Powered by the A16 Bionic chip which was present in the iPhone 14 Pro, the iPhone 15 gives you a 24 megapixel photo by default. Given that the iPhone 14 Pro does not have this feature, this means that the non-zoomed in photos of your iPhone 15 will actually be slightly better than those on the iPhone 14 Pro. There is also a new auto portrait detection feature. When you get the little F at the bottom of the screen, this means that your photo will capture the data needed for portrait mode. You can later on make it a portrait mode photo by selecting the option in your gallery. That is all for today's video, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.